The Tale of Ares, the God of War and Courage The Birth of Ares In the heart of Olympus, the seat of the gods, a child was born to Zeus, the omnipotent king of the gods, and Hera, the proud and regal queen. This child was Ares, destined to embody the raw, untamed power of war and the noble essence of courage. From the moment of his birth, it was clear that Ares was unlike any other god. His cries were fierce, echoing through the halls of Olympus with a power that belied his infant form. As he grew, Ares was drawn to conflict like a moth to a flame. While other gods and goddesses pursued the arts, wisdom, or love, Ares found his calling in the chaos of battle. His education was unique, consisting not of scholarly pursuits but of rigorous combat training. Hephaestus, the god of blacksmiths, crafted for him a suit of armor that would become legendary. Golden and resplendent, it was designed to withstand the mightiest of blows and to strike fear into the hearts of mortals and immortals alike. The Rise of a Warrior Ares' early years were spent honing his skills in Olympus, but his true destiny lay in the mortal realm where wars were waged and legends were born. His first foray into the human world came during the Titanomachy, the great war between the Olympian gods and the ancient Titans. Ares fought with unparalleled ferocity, his presence on the battlefield a whirlwind of golden armor and flashing steel. His courage was unmatched, inspiring his fellow gods to fight with renewed vigor. When the dust settled and the Titans were defeated, Ares stood among the victors, his place among the pantheon of war gods secure. Yet, his thirst for battle was far from quenched. He descended to the mortal realm, where he found a land plagued by ceaseless conflict. Kingdoms rose and fell, their fates determined by the strength of their armies and the will of their leaders. It was in this crucible of war that Ares truly thrived. He moved from one battlefield to another, his armor gleaming in the sun, his sword a blur of deadly precision. Wherever he went, the tide of battle shifted, and his name became synonymous with victory. The Lover and the Warrior Though Ares was a god of war, his heart was not immune to the pangs of love. Among the gods, none captured his affections more than Aphrodite, the goddess of love and beauty. Their union was as passionate as it was tumultuous, a perfect blend of love and conflict. Together, they had several children, each embodying different aspects of their parents' natures. Among them were Phobos, Fear, Dimos, Terror, Harmonia, Harmony, and Eros, Desire. Their love was not without its trials. Hephaestus, Aphrodite's husband, discovered their affair and devised a plan to trap them in a net of unbreakable chains. Humiliated before the other gods, Ares and Aphrodite's love affair became a cautionary tale. Despite this, their bond remained strong, and Ares' love for Aphrodite added another dimension to his character, showing that even the god of war could be softened by the power of love. The Champion of Mortals Ares' involvement in mortal affairs was not limited to the battlefield. He often championed the cause of warriors who showed exceptional bravery and strength. One such warrior was Diomedes, a hero of the Trojan War. During this epic conflict, Ares descended to the battlefield, fighting on the side of the Trojans. Clad in his golden armor, he was a formidable force, striking down any who dared oppose him. However, his support for the Trojans brought him into direct conflict with Athena, the goddess of wisdom and strategic warfare. In a fierce battle, Diomedes, guided by Athena, managed to wound Ares, driving him from the battlefield. This defeat was a rare humiliation for the god of war, but it also demonstrated his vulnerability and the complex interplay of divine influence in mortal conflicts. Despite this setback, Ares continued to influence the course of the war. His presence on the battlefield was a source of both terror and inspiration. Warriors fought harder and braver, knowing that the god of war himself watched over them. When Troy eventually fell, Ares' role in the conflict became another chapter in his storied legacy. The Trials of Courage While Ares was known for his prowess in battle, he was also a god of courage. This aspect of his divinity was tested in the most unexpected ways. 
one of the most notable trials came not from a battlefield but from a journey to the underworld. When his son Ascalaphus, a valiant warrior, was killed in battle, Ares was stricken with grief. Determined to retrieve his son from the realm of Hades, Ares embarked on a perilous journey to the underworld. The path was fraught with danger, from the Styx's treacherous waters to the watchful eyes of Cerberus, the three-headed hound. Undeterred, Ares faced these challenges with the same courage he displayed in battle. He confronted Hades himself, demanding the return of his son. Though Hades was a formidable adversary, Ares' resolve and the power of his plea moved even the lord of the dead. Ascalaphus was allowed to return to the world of the living, a testament to Ares' unyielding courage and the strength of a father's love. The Eternal Warrior As centuries passed, the world changed, but Ares' role as the god of war remained constant. He witnessed the rise and fall of empires, the birth of new nations, and the unending cycle of conflict that defined human history. In each era, he found new champions, new causes, and new battles to fight. In the age of the Roman Empire, Ares was worshipped as Mars, the god of war and guardian of Rome. The legions of Rome marched to battle with his name on their lips, seeking his favor and protection. Ares, in turn, found a new home among the Romans, his influence shaping the course of history. Even as the old gods faded into myth and legend, the spirit of Ares endured. His legacy lived on in the hearts of warriors, in the stories of bravery and valor passed down through generations. In every conflict, in every act of courage, the essence of Ares could be felt. He was not just a god of war but a symbol of the unbreakable spirit that drives individuals to face their fears and fight for what they believe in. The Legacy of Ares The tale of Ares, the god of war and courage, is one of eternal struggle and unyielding spirit. His life was a tapestry woven with the threads of countless battles, heroic deeds, and profound love. His armor, once gleaming and untarnished, now bore the marks of his many trials, each scar a testament to his resilience. In the quiet moments, away from the clamor of war, Ares reflected on his journey. He had seen the best and worst of humanity, had fought alongside heroes and faced formidable foes. Through it all, he remained a constant force, a beacon of courage and strength. The story of Ares is not just a myth but a reminder of the indomitable will that resides within all of us. It is a tale of courage in the face of adversity, of the unending battle between light and darkness, and of the enduring power of love and loyalty. As long as there are battles to be fought and warriors to fight them, the legend of Ares will live on inspiring generations to embrace their inner warrior and face the challenges of life with unwavering courage. Thank you for joining us on this journey through legend and lore. Subscribe for more mythical tales and epic legends.